Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm gonna be playing as my favorite character this time, Yan Yan. And oh not that, not, not that. I'm getting a little hasty here. World 5, Pirates Ocean. Let's start! Why she's my favorite is because she's small and she's got the highest jump in the game. Which I'm gonna be using her for World 10 for obvious reasons. If you've played this game before, you know exactly which stage I'm thinking of. Alright. Let's start. Oh, isn't she precious? And as I said, she's got an awesome jump. Look at the height of this thing. It has a lot of control as well. So she is definitely, without a doubt, my favorite. And I am messing up slightly though, because I was messing around on that little thin platform there for fun, just to show you how much control I have over her jump, even though I ended up plopping off. <laughs> But that's okay. We can just go right across it, nice, slow, and smooth. And then this curve, no walls whatsoever, not even a little ledge to keep you from falling off like over here. But that's all right. As long as you have control, you will make it. Number two starts. Oh, this is the more extreme version of the swinging platforms we've seen in the last part. Um, these are kind of hard to get on if you don't have good timing and then you'll fall to your doom but you kind of have to aim for them otherwise you won't make it to the other, other side. There is no way around it. A uh, little pinball like rail for a ball there. It's not that hard to get on, just low jump onto it and you'll be able to get onto it easily. You're going to see a lot of those later on so get used to jumping on them. Oh I should have went on it that time because I'm going to be wasting time now. And you see how fast these things are going, so you're going to have to compensate ever so slightly while you're onto them by pushing forward. Very, very lightly though. And get ready, get ready. Go, 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 go. Now stay. Now push forward. Watch your mile per hour meter there. As well as the little speed effect on the screen. And you're slowing down, then you end up at the front of it because, you know, momentum and all. And there you go. Just repeat that for the rest of them. And don't waste too much time, as you can see. That's why I was a little bit worried about having to wait for that other one there. Because I, I believe I have to do this twice more. I think, if I remember this stage, I could be thinking of something else. And this platform is a lot smaller. Oh my, oh dear, oh dear. At least it's got a little ledge there. A little, I should say a little edge to keep me from falling off. If this didn't have an edge, it would make it a whole lot harder, believe me. Because you can feel it pulling. I mean, you can feel the character pulling and pushing to the front and back of that. No, I guess there is only two, because this is a straight shot over to the goal. Um, there's some little details if you want to check out the rope fences, if you care for that sort of thing. <laughs> Otherwise, just go straight to the goal. Plus, if you you know, you know have enough time to check out that sort of stuff. Um, oh, this is an interesting stage. It looks, it looks really hard with these waves and how little control it seems like you have over it, but... They just bounce you forward and back at worst, so you I won't like expect you to be flailing all over the place left and right until you get to like these round sections there. And then that's the place that you could possibly fall off, but if you just like jump, whoa! <laughs> you shouldn't have much trouble controlling yourself. And I'll just Woo! <laughs> that got a little crazy at the end there, but. I used a little jump trick that I showed you earlier to control my speed and there wasn't any trouble getting back in control on that large platform. Um, this reminds me a lot of Super Monkey Ball 1's AV stage in the bonus stages or special stages, whatever you want to call them, where you have the big AV cut out in the center and you have to navigate it onto a wobbling platform. It's not a hard stage, but it just reminds me so much of those stages. Uh, this, this is especially easy compared to the AV stage though because of the fact that you got more room to work with. And if you ever have any, any trouble controlling, just jump, like do little low jumps and then tilt in the opposite direction that you're losing control and <sighs> bonus stage. Oh my, this is real invigorating gameplay here. I mean, we're, we're collecting bananas. This, this is extremely exciting. I, I'm not, not hiding my excitement here. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, look at that. I missed a banana because I was trying to cut the corner there, but oh, wow. G gotta be careful here because, you know, you don't want to miss a banana. <sighs> mm. 
Mmm, bacon. Mmm. Mmm, I love bacon. Ah, steak. So delicious with A1 sauce. And you should, oh, oh, I must have fell asleep there for a second. Well, I'm glad that's over. Anyway, <laughs> World 5, Pirate's Ocean. And we've got our first really rolly thingy here. It's, it's not that hard to get inside it, but the thing is, it's difficult to stay inside it. You're going to have to go with the flow. And why am I having trouble getting up here? <laughs> and see there's little bumpers inside that wheel? You gotta either navigate around them or jump over them completely. Yan Yan here won't really have all that much trouble with her incredible jumping powers. Although maybe I should have jumped the gun and went inside that wheel ahead of time, but eh, I like rushed it, but I was kind of stalled on the stairs there because of my own stupidity. But what else is new? <laughs> okay, now it's gonna turn around. Now look ahead of you. Pay attention. Jump if you have. Oh boy! <laughs> Try to hit the bumpers if you have to hit a bumper as straight as you possibly can. And yeah, I definitely should have got in that first time he was there. So I was really cutting it close to time. No biggie though. Here's a first try completion on the stage. Uh, really easy stage here. Just a bunch of rings. All you have to do is go until you reach an intersection or. Use Yen Yen's super jump <laughs> to skip things. And that's what makes her awesome. I'd recommend her for all the stages, actually. Because of how well she controls. And she's not all that fast either, so that's another thing. So she doesn't really get out of control. Uh, whenever you see another intersection, bridge, or ring, just uh, drop off to the next one and then you'll be able to stay on track. That's how the stage works. For this last ring here, just go in the opposite direction of the goal and you'll meet up. You don't have to chase it down or anything, you'll just ram right into it. No, I should say ram right through it. Woo! Like so. Next stage, number seven. Oh, this one. This is a rather interesting stage. It's, it's all timing based when it comes to this. You'll see that there's these stair platform things. See these things? These move in and out away from the platform! And what you're supposed to do is race it to the other side to get there, or stay on top of it and wait for it to stretch back out over to the platform. But I don't think the stage gives you enough time to do that. I could be wrong though. It's been a while since I've played this stage, but I do remember it. Like I, I've always take, I always take this route, and I go, Ooh! okay, past the first part, and now on the second one. What do I want to do here for ye old timing? Yeah, I'm scared, mommy. Please be, please be gentle. I'm going to get. Oh wait, wait, wait. do I want to stay? Yeah, I have to stay on here because I can't. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I've got to jump for my life. Woo! Okay, I guess I wasn't that bad after all. We got Alien Man here. Not really much of a big deal, just watch out for him so he doesn't bump you off the edge. I believe Yan Yan is pretty vulnerable to the bumpers because of her light weight, so these are pretty much a kill to her in most cases. So beware of bumper. Um, I, that's it? Really? That's... okay. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm just... Just wondering, I thought there was more to it. Maybe I don't remember the stage as much as I thought I did, but hmm, oh well. Mm, looks like we're going uphill on the Spiral Mountain. And do I, do I, which one do I want to go up? Do I take the bridge to the left or do I go, do I go up this one? I, I completely forgot. I know I can't waste too much time on this. I'm just going to choose one randomly as I just did right there and just work my way up to the top, I suppose. Yeah, it doesn't look like the left route there at the base would have given me any option to go up there. Yeah, because there's no other platform. So this is the right right route. It's probably like bananas up the other route or something like that. This really isn't all that hard. I just gotta keep moving because all the, you know, the time, the gaps. Gotta keep my speed up if at all possible. Um, oh dear. Oh my. Oh dear. <laughs> oh my. I got a little lucky there. I admit that. Because I could have gone a lot worse. But it's okay, we are safe. 
no borders this time, but I'll just take it easy. I got plenty of time, I can tell. Wait, wait, wait. where am I supposed to drop off? Oh, okay. I'm just supposed to jump off to here. Oh, that worked out well. What was that, like one death throughout the whole thing, I think? Not too shabby. Boss stage! I forgot what the heck this boss is, actually. Well, it's an octopus, obviously. And its weakness is its bandaged head. I don't know how the bandages can stick on them. I mean, maybe they have like special glue or something like that to work underwater. Anyway, I don't know exact. Oh! I guess that's how you hit him. <laughs> I just randomly jumped for his head and... Yep. Wait, wait, what am I supposed to be doing here? Should I be trying to dodge something? I'm not sure. I completely forgot how to defeat this guy. Should I be... I think I should be able to hit him now. I mean, I'm, I'm up to his head. I think. Or should I be, like, hitting him in his face or something like that? <laughs> um, no, he's not vulnerable there. So what am I waiting for exactly here? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember how to beat this guy in the slightest. I bet you that would blow you off the edge if you got hit by his ink. Is it his backside that's vulnerable and I was just able to hit him from the front? Yeah, I guess so. That's weird. Oh, you can squish these little guys if you jump on them. It'll kill them, like Goombas. Oh, I thought it, thought it killed them. Hmm. I am completely misinforming myself as well as the viewers in every single way in this video. Oh, you're going back in the water, aren't you? Okay, I can deal with that, I hope. <laughs> eh. mm, okay, that's... Yeah, how was I able to hit him from the front before? That's, that was kind of weird. Because he's clearly weak on his back, like that. And... Oh, don't knock me off, please. I, I don't really feel like dealing with luck-based elements today. <laughs> I'd prefer all skill, and there's a lot of these guys around now. I guess they're like, whoa, there's a little wave there this time. I guess those little guys are like the main obstacle of of anything this time because of the fact that they're just everywhere. Otherwise, this uh, octopus man here is pretty dang easy. <laughs> ah, 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 that's it. <laughs> I didn't even think I needed to cover that guy. He was pretty easy. <laughs> I guess look out for his tentacles, but they reach out in a straight line, so that's pretty easily predicted as well, and ah, whatever, this is done. And yes, I'm going to be sip skipping the credits again. No one wants to see the credits more than once, unless they're like a special set of credits or something like that, like in uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. And no, 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 no. <laughs> what score did I get this time? Ah, second. I knew I wouldn't make first eventually. <laughs> no, I, I was like second a couple times and, and third another one, I believe, in the scoring. I don't really care about score, I'm just here to get through the stages. Well, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part when I start World 6, which is my favorite world.